Hi everyone, it's me, Tim. Today I want to talk about Arcanum. I have talked about it before, but people often say, well, what do you spend your time doing? And I'm like, I've mentioned I work for a couple clients, but I also love messing around with games as toys. And one of the toy games I mess around with is Arcanum. And I did that about... I want to say it was about six months ago. This is November of 2023. Six months, no, probably more, probably like a year ago, I pulled up the Arcanum source code and recompiled it as a native Windows 10 app. Let's take a look. So this is Arcanum running in a window on my Windows 10 machine. I recompiled it this morning just to have a fresh executable. It is interesting to get it running again. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. So this is our opening movie. I really like this movie. Blurred did this movie for us. So a while back I played it and made a save game right at the start. So I'm just going to load into that. Um... So, of course, you appear at the blimp crash site. Everything's working. I can run around. Uh, I can talk to Virgil. I can tell Virgil, I would like you to go away now. <laughs> um, the sound's working. I just turned it off. But uh, it's interesting to go back and see this game years later. See all the interfaces. See what the art looks like. See how small an 800 by 600 window is on my desktop, which is 1920 by 1280. So it's fun. I mean, this game is 22 years old. Started 25 years ago, shipped 22 years ago. So it's old. But I just kind of wanted to show this to show, hey, it is quite possible. I don't want to say easy because uh, I knew the code, but also it was just me working in a few hours free time got the whole game running again in windows 10 native now let's talk about that let's talk about what it would take to make this a real windows 10 game when i first pulled up the project the first thing i had to do was get rid of any securom stuff luckily it was that was something we uploaded the executable or something and it applied the Securom anti-piracy layer, rootkit, whatever it was. So I just took that out of the build step. So when an executable popped out, it was just a clean, un uh, anti-piracy marked executable. The next thing I had to do was disable WAN. WAN is the world opponent network that Sierra used that we had to add into the game so that we could have multiplayer. Um, when I disabled WAN, I had to disable the multiplayer part of Arcanum because it relied on WAN. That's okay. That is not interesting me. Interested. It's not something I was interested in, so I didn't do it. <laughs> the hard part, I then had to fix the hundreds of warnings and errors that the modern Visual Studio compiler threw. So it took a while to get through all those. I mean, these we we shipped Arcanum with, I believe, the highest warning level that um, we used when we compiled it. But modern compilers don't like certain things, and it threw lots of new warnings and a few errors. So I had to go through and fix all of those. That's probably what took the longest amount of time. And my guess is I worked, I don't even think I worked a week. Um, certainly if you add up all the hours, it was less than 40. I may have done 40 hours spread over two or three weeks. But it was not a long time. And poof, Arcanum's running as a Windows 10 app. Now, what am I going to do with that? Well... The first thing I thought I would do is, if I'm feeling up to it, I may go through and fix the many, many clouds of overlapping bugs that exist in Arcanum. Some of them are in the code. Some of them are in scripts. 
Some of them are in dialogues. Um, a few of them are actually in some of the assets. So I may have to go in and tweak some maps. Um, I don't think we had any buggy art. I don't think we had any... Because I remember in Fallout, we had some sprites that got cut too big and caused issues. But I think we caught all of those before Arcanum shipped. So fixing bugs could take... That could take months or years. And it would be redoing work that people have already done. But I want to actually go in and ch change the actual code, recompile everything, get it working fresh. I don't want to patch it. Um, I don't want to go in and alter the executable. I want to change the actual source code. The other thing I want to do is optimize the game for current Windows. When I was running around, it was a lot of tearing. Um, we're... Because this run ran under, what, Windows 95, Windows 2000, we handled a lot of memory management that now you can just turn over to Windows. The fact that we manage memory that Windows is subsequently managing is just double management and a big slowdown. I would probably just change it so we just ask for memory and use whatever Windows gives us. I would also switch this over to modern DirectX. This is using, I believe, DirectX 9, whatever was available in probably around 2000. I don't think we switched over in 2001, but we might have. But it's a very old version of DirectX. Everything still works because yay for Microsoft backwards compatibility. You know, obviously the graphics are working, the sound's working just fine. It's pretty impressive that that worked without me touching it. But there were some odd things about hooking in DirectX 9. So I would probably go to a, a new DirectX. Third thing I do is make a balance pass. <laughs> I don't even want to start talking about harm, but spells need balancing, the scripts need balancing. I don't want to change their base functionality, but I do want to make it so that harm isn't the go-to spell. Um, either throwing in a maximum of how much damage it scales up to or putting a cooldown on it, something. Um, it's just too powerful as it is. And there's some other spells that do that. I'm also going to make a pass through all the skills and the tech schematics. I may even look at the attributes. I don't know if... I don't want to tweak things too much. I still want it to be Arcanum. But I just want to make sure things are more balanced than what we shipped with. Because I've mentioned this before, we kind of shipped Arcanum as an alpha. We had very little time to go back and do any of this. One thing I might do, because the code is still there, I could put back in the original multi-point cost for things so that instead of everything costing one point, spells cost more, higher level spells cost more, higher level uh, schematics cost more. And I can make that an option that you select when you make a new game. So you can play with the one-point method or you could play the multi-point method. I know some people didn't like like it. I've, I have a video about talking about what the multi-point method was and what I thought broke when we made one point, but I put it in there as an option. The other thing, though, I think I might do, I haven't decided, I might toss real time because balancing everything will be hard enough, but balancing it for both turn-based and real time, that will probably be a nightmare. I thought about making it an option and maybe... Thank you, Windows. Maybe you can select it when you start a game or maybe even switch back and forth. But I think a better thing would be just lose real time altogether, but then add some of the turn-based options I put in later games, like letting monsters take simultaneous turns. So basically you take a turn for every person in your party and then all the uh, monster and NPCs go at the same time. So I could put things like that in relatively easy. Uh, because I, of course, still have the temple code as well. But these are just things I'm thinking about doing. I want to play around with it, so I wanted to show it. Just to remind people, I own the code, but I do not own the IP, which means I can't release this, and I can't make an Arcanum patch or Arcanum 2. That's up to the current IP owner which as of November, 2023 is Microsoft. Anyway, I thought it was fun to do this. 
Uh, probably going to look at some of the other games, you know, Temple and Vampire, and see if I can get them up and running, see how they run under modern windows. Uh, they're, they're both, both of those will be a little harder because there were a lot of programmers on Temple and I was doing design on Temple and Vampire is based on a very, very old version of Source and most of that code, I mean, I did Boss AI for it and some code consolidation for things like throwing and some other stuff that lots of creatures did. That would be harder. But Arcanum, I wrote a big chunk of it and what I didn't write, I knew about because we had frequent meetings and there were really only four or five programmers total on the game. So Arcanum was something I could get up and running pretty quick and I thought you'd like to see it. Anyway, there's Arcanum as a Windows 10 app.